It's 644 on this Friday. There's a San Antonio group that sings at the bedside of people about to pass and they're looking for new members. Now this is a unique calling that requires more than a good singing voice. Ken's Five's Marvin Hurst reports that in this group, your job is to help people cross thresholds. In a circle of sound. The songs are designed and written to give comfort and peace. Members of the Threshold Singers go round and round for an upcoming sing. I'm always a little nervous just because it's performance anxiety type of thing. For four years, the group has been sharing peace with the dying in San Antonio. We discovered early on that what we were doing was modeling a way for the family to make these last moments meaningful. There you they go to places like Adobe Contemplative Care for the Dying to sing for people who typically have three months to live, to give them peace. You have to relax to die, basically. And believe me, I've watched hundreds, if not thousands of people die. Singer Jennifer James used to work at a different hospice. By the time death comes for us, it's usually a blessing. Their sings aren't exclusively for the dying. The group also goes to places like The Village at Incarnate Word, sharing songs with the elderly. With 12 members though, bedside service is where the members prioritize their singing. In practicality, that's what we do, is we sing for hospice patients, just because there aren't enough of us. So they are looking for new members, who can sing, of course. Practice is where new singers will sit in the cloud chair. It's where they asked me to recline, tanking in the songs, gaining perspective from a patient's point of view. We have to experience that vulnerability so that we can accept a no from the patient. Most patients and their families are willing. It's a relief for that family, for that person, and actually for us. Because we know we help them with what they needed. Everyone has some kind of threshold. There's more that happens in a room of, of someone dying than can be seen. It's the job of these singers to help you cross it. I've sung threshold songs into the ears of friends on the bus going to work because they just lost a job. But the peaceful tones don't exclude members from the impact of death. And I watched my mother die and I sang to her and it really brought joy to me. Or tears as they sing at the bedside of a stranger. A few discreet tears are okay. We want to honor the grief that is happening in that room. But if it gets beyond that, then we're adding to the burdens. Now it's your time to rest. The call is one voice, one purpose, easing burdens at the entrance of tranquil transition. We have songs that say, it's okay to go, everything's taken care of, you're not alone. You are not alone, I am here now. So if you are interested in joining the Threshold Singers, we have a link that will connect you to them in the story on kins5.com. By the way, if you also want to see them in person, they are available this Sunday. They're going to be at the Church of Reconciliation on Starcrest at 2 p.m. The program will honor everything that we've lost during the pandemic. Marvin Hurst, Kins 5.